The RV dealership stretched out like a maze of possibilities, each vehicle promising a new adventure, a potential memory, a burly salesman with a comb over and a stained tie that had seen better days approach them, an overly rehearsed smile plastered on his face. Good day, folks. I'm Barry. Looking for a home on wheels? Roman shot Julia a glance, smirking. Something that won't break down after the first pothole and has more character than a cardboard box. Barry chuckled, a bit uneasily. You're in luck. Julia's gaze drifted to a vintage RV. It's paint chipped, but with a sense of stories untold. What about that one? Looks like it's seen a few adventures. Barry grimaced. Oh, that old thing. It's been here for ages. You'd probably want something newer, more reliable. Roman approached the vintage model, intrigued. The trio stepped in, and the RV came alive. The wood paneling exuded warmth, the seats worn but inviting. The scent of past travels filled the air, a mix of campfire, pine, and mystery. Roman's fingers traced the patterns of an old road map stuck to the fridge. Feels like it's seen the world. Julia sank into a seat, imagining the places they could go. It has a soul. You can't buy that in a new model. Barry, sensing a sail slipping, interjected. It's quaint. Sure. But the newer models have all the mod. Cons, Wi-Fi, satellite TV, automatic everything. Roman chuckled. We're looking to disconnect from all that jazz, Barry. Julia winked at Roman. Plus, what's life without a little uncertainty? Keeps things interesting. Barry sighed, realizing he was beaten. All right, all right, let's talk numbers. After a round of intense haggling, dotted with Roman's sarcastic jabs and Julia's sharp wit, they struck a deal. As they finalized the paperwork, Roman turned to Julia. Here's to the open road, to getting lost and finding ourselves. Julia leaned in, sealing the deal with a kiss, and to our old new home.